Many of you use a layout like this, where your lyrics initially appear in part of the screen, and then you expand the lyrics to full screen by double tapping. As you'll see in the new versions released this month, the ability to switch between a partial screen display and a full screen display is being phased out. However, you can still use full screen lyrics, and in this video I'll show you a few ways to do it. The simplest way to continue using full screen lyrics is to switch to the Big Set List layout. We'll click the Layout button in the top toolbar, then select Big Set List. Or in a new installation like I have here, it will be named Full Screen Lyrics. That's because while it initially shows a big set list, almost everyone who uses this ends up displaying full screen lyrics on top of it. The way to do that is to simply click the document icon for a song. And then you can double tap to close the lyrics as before. If you want to make it even easier to show your lyrics, you can click the Edit Layout button in the top toolbar, select Edit Details, scroll down to the Show Document Viewer action, and set it to Song Selection. While we're at it, let's also set Start Stop Auto Scroll to Song Selection, and we'll set Hide Document Viewer to Two-Fingered Tap, then we'll save. Now when we select a song, the lyrics will open and auto-scrolling will start, after giving you time to sing the first verses. Now what if you liked the vertical column of buttons in the layout you were using, or you want access to some functions that aren't available in this full screen layout? In that case, let's switch layouts again, and this time choose Big Lyrics. Or, in new installations, it will be named More Buttons. Now what we have is lyrics that fill almost the entire screen, and some buttons alongside them. In this layout, you wouldn't switch to full screen because you're almost there already. So this is a compromise between full screen and having access to more buttons. If you want to keep that compromise, but shift the balance a little more toward larger lyrics, there's a new default layout that we can use called Overlapping Buttons. If you have an older installation and don't see that in the list of layouts, you can click the Help button, then Utilities, then Load Default Layouts. And while we're at it, let's also click Rename Default Layouts. That will rename the existing layouts to match the names used in new installations. Anyway, now we can click the Layouts button and select Overlapping Buttons. And this gives us lyrics that fill even more of the screen, but a couple buttons are placed on top of the lyrics. Of course, you can customize any of these layouts to add, remove, or rearrange the buttons to show the functions you're actually using. So to review, the ability to switch between a partial screen lyrics display, like in the split view layout, and a full screen display is being phased out. But you can still show full screen lyrics from the full screen lyrics layout, or show a couple buttons on top of the lyrics with the overlapping buttons layout, or make more room for buttons with the more buttons layout. For those who are still watching, I'll show you a couple more options that come with this change in functionality. First, you can show full screen lyrics on top of any layout, not just that full screen layout I showed earlier. For example, the default Big Fields layout has no lyrics showing initially, but it does have a document button that will show them. And then you can double click to hide them again. This layout is nice because when you switch to a new song, you can quickly read various song info from these big fields, and then when you're ready to start singing, you can show the lyrics. This is similar to expanding to full screen from the split view layout, but it makes better use of space by showing these fields initially instead of just showing a smaller version of the lyrics. Second, you can now show the lyrics over only part of the screen. For example, the More Controls layout also has no lyrics showing initially, and it also has a document button to show them. In fact, this layout has separate document buttons for each document or lyrics that is attached to the song. And when you click one, the lyrics appear only over the middle area of the layout, leaving the song list accessible to change songs. I like this layout for rehearsing because it's really easy to access different versions of a song, as well as functionality like the speed and loop controls for recordings. 
Let's look at one more thing for more ambitious users who want to build their own layouts from scratch. To control how the lyrics appear, you can edit a layout and select Edit Document Viewer. Then click the Options button at the top right corner of the Document Viewer. One option is Show Initially. If this is on, the Document Viewer will appear within the layout, as in the Split View layout. If it's off, the document will initially be hidden, and then when you show it, it will appear on a layer above the layout, as in the Full Screen Lyrics layout, or the More Controls layout we're looking at now. So basically, this controls whether you can show and hide the lyrics, or just have them showing all the time. Then we have some sizing options. You can drag the bottom right corner to set the size of the viewer, and to drag the entire viewer to move it. So this would determine its size and position, whether you're showing it within the layout or on top of the layout. If you just want to show it at full screen, we have a shortcut for that. You can click the Options button again and click Expand to full screen. Note that that isn't truly full screen yet, you will still see the top toolbar, as in the overlapping buttons layout. But if you want to go all the way to full screen, you can also turn on the Cover Top Toolbar option. You won't see the viewer expand to cover the top toolbar here in the Layout Editor, because then we'd have no way to get out of the editor. But when you leave the editor and show the document, it will be completely full screen. Okay, well that's a lot of information, but whether you just want to use the most common default layouts or get creative and build your own, I hope this helps you understand all the options.